Hi everybody, Chris here from Trinity Holistic. This is going to be a real short video, a breakdown in regards to our place of attention. Anybody that's had a session at Trinity Holistic, whether that's Ascendance Healing or the Reality Coaching, understands the importance of our place of attention. It's a, it's a, it's a big focus within sessions and connected to all and every health problem there is or manifestation issue. Why that is, is because there are some common expressions of, for example, where attention goes, energy flows. Now, that expression is detailing the aspect that wherever our attention goes, we are transferring our energy into that thing. Okay, so it's a, it's a direct transfer of our own energy, not as the observant, not as a participant of reality, but a creator of our experience of reality. A big part to do with that is where we place our attention, okay? Another expression for attention is whatever holds our attention holds our power. Now, that's a, that's a very bold statement, right? But it's very true and very important to be aware of, okay? Because whatever holding our attention, we are directly transferring and feeding our energy into it for it to remain as part of our experience or awareness of reality or to feed more of it so it will become more abundant as part of our life and part of our reality. So we need to be very aware of our creative abilities, not to be on... Um, uh, to lose our self-awareness and lose sight of how we use our energy and use our place of attention. Now, our place of attention is our three eyes, okay? So a lot of people might be thinking, well, what's the third eye? There you go, it's the third eye, all right? Now, obviously, spirituality, the ancients called it an eye, so they called it a third eye. Science calls it the pineal gland, right, that third eye. I like to call it either the singularity or I or our insight. And why I like to use that those terms is because it, it gives a clear um, indication of its purpose, its role. Okay, so obviously the two eyes to begin with are these duality eyes. Why do we call them duality? Because they're a duo. There's two of them, right? And really... This existence that we've been locked in, which a majority will say is like a prison world or a matrix world, we call that duality, okay? And within duality, we are being forced to use a perspective, perception of reality, to use a process, a pathway, which we call mind-thought pathway, to process realities, which we then, um, the byproduct of that process, we create mentalities, which is really the birthplace or the origin of what mental illness is, um, through an unbalanced existence, which we call duality. Okay, and why we call these duality eyes is because humans are generally taught to follow what they see and couple it up with a thought process to get a, the head around what they are seeing, right? To 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 understand what does it represent, okay? If we don't have that representation, which is the word insight, and we'll get to that in a minute, to what we're observing, well, what's what's the point of that observation, okay? And then that connects into how we um, respond and react, which again is our power, is how we respond and react to what we're observing. And, you know, that might be a challenge. Something's happening in our life that's enabling a challenge in our life and we're observing that, and our sense of, or our greater sense of understanding and knowing of what that represents, that observation or that challenge, is heavily going to influence how we react and respond to it, right? Whether we react and respond still holding, upholding our self-awareness, or losing sight, pun intended, of our awareness of how we're using our energy through our response and reaction. So we've got these duality eyes, which see... 0.0035% of the electromagnetic spectrum of light. So very little. It's like looking through a keyhole uh, to understand what our reality is. Very little, right? So what we really need is a balance of the three eyes. All right? These two eyes are going to pre present our observation. And this eye is going to present that greater knowing and understanding, aka insight, into what we're observing. So therefore... 
we can then still hold on to our self-awareness when we respond and react, which is essentially when we transfer our energy into creation. All right? We need to have some discernment there. Okay. Now, another thing we can look at is these duality eyes. And what we ideally want, and this is what I teach my clients, is to present a state of neutrality, which is balance instead of duality, unbalance. So when we call this a singularity eye, because it's one, duality eyes, because there's two, if they were all on the outside, and right, it's in the middle of our head, our pineal gland, if we drop it down the middle, it goes down the middle of two opposites, two polarities, which is part of duality, which means it presents balance. Okay, now another thing that we can look at is we call these our external eyes because they're in an external part of our head, while this eye is our internal eye because it's in the middle of our head, inside our head, which we can shorten to insight, right? External sight, insight, right? So these ones are there to observe. This one here is the definition of insight, is to present a greater knowing and understanding of what that thing represents, what we're observing. Right, so this is how this all ties in with each other. Obviously, this eye is also very important in regards to our sleep and dream state, right? When we look at it scientifically from the pineal gland, it secretes melatonin, which initiates sleep. Melatonin is secreted in an environment void of light. Okay, now what happens with this eye? This eye opens up more or becomes more presentable at night time when these eyes shut down, right? They close up. Okay which we will see from a human perspective that we are resting the human body, the rest in the body, it needs to sleep. But our authenticity as a consciousness, as a soul, is it never rests, right? And when this pineal gland is secreting melatonin, which melatonin is a leakage of light from a, multi a multiverse, it's enabling access to these multi-dimensional aspects of you as an infinite consciousness okay which quite often that term travel comes up for people right we're going to astral travel we're going to have quantum travel and there is a difference between those two astral traveling is dictated and governed by the mind intelligence that's not you while quantum traveling is guided and directed by your soul which the seat of the soul is the heart and there's a quantum path that goes within you from the heart the heart is the surface Right? Ascension is all about allowing your multidimensional infinite consciousness aspect of you to be represented here. And it levitates up to the surface like an aquifer deep, under, deep underground in the earth, levitating up to the surface. Now the surface of that consciousness, that expansion that exists within you, is the heart itself. Okay, so there's a lot going on there. Now one thing I want to lastly mention in regards to it is we've got a new product which we call the insight pendant now this is a wonderful product now you can obviously put that on that spot there where your pineal gland is or your singularity eye your third eye whatever you want to call it or you can just wear it as a pendant and what this does is this provides balance neutrality in regards to your place of attention now this is so important so this will help improve sleep uh, for people that have bad dreams or nightmares, this will get rid of them. Because again, bad dreams and nightmares, it's because your astral traveling, your, your access or travel when you are asleep is being governed by an intelligence that's not you, that wants to place you into fear. Okay. So that's great for sleep, great for dream state, great for anybody that you know, is very... Uh, intuitive in regards to dreams and connecting with their higher intelligence, their higher selves. This is wonderful for it. This is also very important to hold onto your self-awareness and also more importantly, hold onto your energy because you've got to understand that as we go back to the start of the video, where we place our attention, you know, where our attention goes, energy flows, which means you're in making an investment of energy and that means less energy that the body can hold onto. Because it's being put into creation. So, and if you're putting it into places where you shouldn't be placing it, your body is going to suffer because the body knows how to rejuvenate, regenerate, and heal, but it requires the material and a constant supply of it to keep that process happening. And that is energy and a lot of energy. 
okay and that comes down to obviously but the heart being open right to facilitate that infinite reservoir of energy that you are is an infinite consciousness but secondly how you use that energy while you're here having a human experience and that big part of how you use your energy number one thing is how you use your place of attention so important so vital now the prize commodity here as a human is not gold it's not money it's not diamonds it's your place of attention and everything outside there everything out there on a collective is trying to distract you trying to grab your attention because the intelligence that controls the collective narrative which is through mind orientation knows that it knows that how you invest your energy your power and how you give up your power is through your place of attention okay this tool is a wonderful tool and a must it's called the insight pendant if you're interested in buying it we've currently got it on sale on special at the moment go check it out it's at trulyholistic.net forward slash products forward slash make sure you like the video if you've really enjoyed this if you're interested in session work as well you can go to trulyholistic.net forward slash appointments forward slash for more insightful information like this as part of reality coaching but also for a sentence healing to help you with manifestation and health issues that you might be experiencing or dealing with please remember to subscribe to the channel share this video to as many people as you feel that needs to hear this message until next time catch you later